following your dream. So when his mom has told him to get a job, he says, I do have a job. I'm just not getting paid for it yet. And I think that resonated so much with me because, hey everybody, we're back, we're back. And I wanted to share some ideas with you today. Some thoughts that I had here today with myself and um, came across a quick, um, uh, I'm always on TikTok. <laughs> I ran by a video and they had an interview with uh, uh, the artist Will I Am, right? Um, those of you who are not familiar with him, he, he, well, he is or he was part of the Black Eyed Peas back in my 2000s. Uh, those, uh, the Black Eyed Peas were pretty popular and have pretty cool songs. Um, but just the fact, I've always liked him as a person, just the fact that he's, he's an artist and he takes things as every artist, as all of us are artists. And, um, he states that you know you your your artist dream or whatever it is you are trying to pursue is your dream right and like reality as we cause they call it is like your nightmare right getting just a regular job that you might not care for um and ignoring your dream so when his mom has told him to get a job he says i do have a job i'm just not getting paid for it yet and i think that resonated so much with me because um, as an artist, sometimes you're creating stuff and you're making things and whatever it is. And I, I, again, for me, an artist, anybody that that thinks outside the box, that does things, creates things that we haven't seen yet, or things their own way, right? Um, you build things your own way. You make content your own way. You do things that are not normally, um, I would say, right, done that certain way. So for me, that's outside the box. That's an artist for me. So an artist for me is not only somebody that makes music or or um draws art but just in life itself maybe a carpenter makes certain ways makes certain wood uh certain um furniture right uh if you're a decorative person or a stylist you have certain ways of doing your things so everybody that does that for me i think is an artist so artists usually we we're definitely outside the box you know a little bit more awkward um thinking a little bit ahead of the, of the situation and are always thinking of how to make your own um, artwork your own projects better and at the same time sometimes when you start off you're not going to be seeing what you think you will be seeing in the beginning but eventually you have to just be patient and trust the process and that's probably the hardest part of it but I think as you get older um, as what I noticed is that you start to realize what really floats your boat like what it is how you move what it is that you do um, sometimes society wants to tell us how to do things or how sh things should be done but at the same time what is it that makes you tick right and in order to find that obviously you have to try things out try new things out and understand what that is but um, sometimes we don't really know sometimes we are still finding our ways and that's okay too but if you're in in that process where you know what you want to do and you're doing it and you're kind of not seeing the the results yet um, if I could share one idea one advice with you is just have patience and at the same time if you're hearing this or you're watching this video it's because it, it was needed right now I've listened to so many individuals along the way that I've heard a video and it's making me and it's made me think like wow it, it, it was a coincidence or was it right a synchronicity that I had to hear at that moment and then certain times I think in life you hear certain things and I think they do affect you somehow um, so I hope it does help you and help does bring you some light. Um, have patience with it, with it right? And um, understand that when you try something new, you're going to be scared of it. Sometimes certain things you try, they seem so difficult and, and you kind of put on the back end and you procrastinate. Once you do it, um, you know, you realize it wasn't that bad and you could have done it a lot sooner. So that comes with any type of new project we have or any type of idea you might have. Um, get to it. Uh, it's a lot. It's not. It's not as hard as you think it is. Um, and everything you put, I would say, work into it. If you like it, it's not gonna seem like um, hard work. Um, I can give you a great example. Um, starting some, uh, my new courses here that I'm doing on, on the IT tech side, and just learning new skills. Uh, I was putting on the back end because it seemed like a difficult task. And then once I sat down and I forced myself at least 20 minutes a day to do it and tackle it down. I found out it wasn't as hard as I thought it was, and um, actually wasn't. I was actually impressed how how much I, I I took you know made it so easy for myself. So after getting it done, I realized wow I should have done it sooner, and I would have gotten a lot further eventually. But 
I think there's certain things in life we kind of understand like that and we take take it at things are if it's so too difficult we kind of don't face it or don't address it um whether it's your closet <laughs> uh whether it's some the things that you want to get done we don't get it done so i think starting baby steps in anything we do but understand that you know don't put away your art or your dreams i think whatever it is you want to do this there's a place for it in this in this universe we are here for that um just just do what you think is best and, and act upon it and so most of the time you're right for yourself um, and um, if you aren't, then hey, let it be. You know, let it is what it is. As I say, uh, we're also afraid of failing, right? A lot of the times we're afraid of rejection, afraid of of being looked like you know we're different. Um, you know, if you have friends or whatever, you don't want to have friends look at you weird because you have a certain way of doing things. But hey, maybe you can inspire them to do things differently as well. It doesn't have to be done only one way. Um, and everybody's life is different. Everybody's journey is different. So, um, if they're truly your friends, they respect that, and 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 actually, I would say motivate and console you when you need it, um, and try to be that person you wish you had in your life. I think those these are all little things that matter along the way in our journey, and um, something I learned today. So I hope if you find the video comes to you at a great time, and I hope. You stay with it and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.